Welcome to the first episode of a new series that I'm going to call The Maintenance Window. The purpose behind this series is to make you aware of big changes that will be introduced into the Splinterlands game on the following patch day. If this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here, bringing you the patch window for May 14th, 2024. Three large changes can be expected after the patch goes live. Two of them will be with the Glint Store. First major change you can expect is that loot chests are coming to the Glint Store. Very much like the chests we used to open on a daily and end of season basis, however, these will not include SPS. The team has devised the drop table for these chests to include a very small percentage chance of having some very nice items though. Beta packs, plot tokens, glint titles, and energy. Yes, you heard me right, energy. After this point and going forward, you will be able to amass more than 50 energy in game. However, you will not start re-accruing energy until you go below 50. The second big glint shop change to expect is that random draws are going away. Loot chests in, random draws out. If you want to take advantage of these, do, this, do so before the patch. And arguably, the biggest change to go into effect tomorrow after the patch will be the instituting of the Grain DEC Trade Hub. This has been in the works for quite a while. It's in the LAN 2.0 white paper, and it lays the foundation for 50 different resources in LAN 2.0 to be bought, sold, and traded. This has been Bronze Dragon bringing you the maintenance window. If you want to receive news and updates about Splinterlands, please like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.